Good morning. Today, me and one of my girlfriends are going to the island for a day trip and I'm bringing you with me. So we need to get changed like right now. Okay, how cute is this set from 437? It comes with this little like scrunchable skirt and then it has the top and bottom for bikinis. So I think I'm just gonna have this cover up and just kind of wear it like this. It's really comfortable. Like I feel very mobile, even though it's like kind of short and kind of skimpy, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we're late, we gotta go. exciting day because Tom and I are going into our new apartment to get measurements to make sure all of our furniture and future furniture buys fit. I really should fix this but I'm just letting it happen because we're close like that and you know I feel comfortable with you. I might give you a sneak peek of the apartment but I also want to be considerate because there is another person's stuff in the apartment right now so i don't really want to film all their things then later tom and i are going on a double date to the fair it's one of my favorite places ever i'm legit a four-year-old at heart and amusement parks just get me okay anyways i need to get ready so hello it's a couple days later and i just want to recap what the weekend was like first of all i didn't end up filming in the apartment i mean i technically did for my own personal usage but i'm not going to put it in this vlog because again there was a lot of their personal stuff around and i just wanted to be respectful knowing that they are the current tenants of that apartment but i'm so so excited there's these big floor to ceiling windows all along one side of the apartment it's got lots of room i've got a decent sized closet and i'm just so excited to put my own spin on it fill it up with my decor and just make it my home. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you. Also, Boz just <laughs> chilling in the corner. That's another reason why I kind of left out footage is because I really want to show you once I put my own personal spin on it. It's going to take a lot of work to make it complete, but I'm so excited for the next like year to just be this journey of adding piece by piece and making everything my own. Then we went to the amusement park with a couple of their friends. It was kind of like a double date situation. And if you are struggling with what to do on a double date i highly recommend going to some sort of fair or amusement park if all parties enjoy that because a you get to spend time with your significant other on the rides but you also get to experience the buzz of the fair together as a group because i feel like those things in group settings are a lot more fun but then you also get to be intimate with your partner and it's just a good time all around we got cotton candy we took cute photos follow me on instagram at sam city underscore and i think i have like a couple clips that i will insert right now I'm on my way to dinner with a friend, so I just want to show you my fit. It's pretty cash today, but here's the fit. Jeans are from Princess Polly. This chunky houndstooth knit is from Storettes, and this green crop top is from Aritzia. Ta-da! I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know what the last thing I vlogged was, but I bet you it's a couple days later. I'm getting ready, I'm doing my hair. I have half my hair curled, but I'm curling the other. Um, To go out with my girlfriends for some tapas, some food. I need to redo my foundation because I have literally been wearing this makeup for the entire day and I'm super oily. So we need to freshen up and I need to boost my energy because after work I'm like, like I literally am so freaking tired after work. We're gonna bring it back. So let's just finish this hair and then do the face. I just finished my hair. We're feeling refreshed and volumized. And then I took off my base makeup, putting on some moisturizer. I find it such a nice refresh just to change my base makeup after work if I have plans after or if I've been wearing makeup all day and I'm going out in the evening. I leave my eye makeup and my eyebrows on because I'm like, you know what? That took too much effort and usually it doesn't fade as quickly as my base makeup does. So I usually leave that on and then just kind of like clean up if there's any smudging that's happened throughout the day. But I'm just priming my face and I thought I would kind of talk to you about what's been going on in the last couple of weeks while I get ready. I don't know how like beauty influencers do this where they like talk and put on their makeup at the same time. I find it so freaking difficult, but I'm gonna do my best, okay? Oh, I forgot to put on sunscreen. 
I'll just do that over my primer. Oopsies. Okay, this like sunscreen that I've been using from Kula, it's called the Classic Sunscreen, but then it has spore at the top. I don't know if that makes a difference. And this is the White Tea Moisturizer. It smells so freaking good um, and it's super lightweight. It feels like a water cream almost. It blends so nicely and it's moisturizing as well. So I feel like I don't even have to put moisturizer underneath even though I just did. But I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter filter just on kind of the high points of my face and down the cheeks i have this honker i don't even think it's a pimple i'm pretty sure that's a bug bite like is that not the rudest thing you've ever seen so this week has been really busy i landed my first freelance social media gig so if you don't know already i work in social media full-time at lululemon and i've been trying to diversify get a little bit more experience a little bit more income knowing that i'm moving out now so i do full-time social at lulu and then i've been been thinking of expanding and doing some like part-time freelancing on the side but I landed my first freelancing gig and I'm getting started this week so I'm really excited to kind of take that on as my next challenge. I think it is going to be an adjustment for sure in terms of you know like getting the footing of working more hours than i normally do but i think it'll be good experience and it'll just be nice to kind of be a little bit more productive because god knows how many hours i spend on tiktok like i'm sure i could just spend a little bit more time working instead of being on TikTok. Also, I know I talked about this earlier, but we went into the apartment last week to take measurements and guys, I am so freaking excited to furnish the place. It's a lot bigger than I remember it being. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. Like when you go into an apartment when there's no furniture, for some reason it seems a lot smaller than when you actually see it with a bunch of furniture in it. And that feels kind of backwards to me. Like shouldn't it feel bigger without furniture in it? But I remember going and visiting this apartment. I I think maybe like a year or a year and a half ago when there was no furniture in it before the current tenants and I remember being like oh it's a lot smaller than the pictures made it seem because you know the pictures they always use like a wide angle lens and they're trying to they're trying to trick you okay but when we were in there it was actually Jimungus, like way bigger than what I thought it was going to be. They had so much furniture in there. They had two couches like I was out here worried that one couch wasn't even going to fit let alone having them have two couches. So it was really a pleasant surprise. And I also am so excited because the gym downstairs is a lot bigger and more robust than I thought it was going to be. Also, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC30. Oh my God, I had no idea this has SPF 15 in it. That was a lot of blabber for me. I'm gonna continue getting ready. I'll show you my fit before I leave and then we're off to the races. Okay, naturally I'm running late and my bed is a mess. So let's just ignore both those things. But this is the fit. I've got my wide leg jeans from Princess Polly, shoes from Oak and Four. This little bra top is from Zara and the blazer is Storettes. Okay, we need to go, goodbye. <laughs> I forgot to vlog. Say hi. <laughs> You don't yell at me, but I'm absolutely the worst vlogger on this planet. I keep forgetting to pull up my camera to vlog and capture my experience. But basically we went to this little Spanish tapas place and then after it was still early, so we decided to go to Boxcar, which is a outdoor patio that serves cute cocktails. They have like alcoholic slushies and they just have a really cute patio with string light, kind of like a little canopy thing. It was really nice and chill. I've been trying a lot more to be social and actually make the most out of my day after work. When I first started working a nine to five job, I was really just kind of like super tired after work. And I feel like I was wasting a lot of my day, a lot of my week. Um, and so especially in the summertime, I've been really trying to make the most out of my days after work because there's so many hours after of sunlight that could be used just doing my skincare now and then it's off to bed i have work tomorrow and we'll just see where this vlog takes me good night i just got the most exciting thing in the mail it's probably the best pr package i've ever received oh my god this is a portable projector from x G-I-M-I. -I. How do you, I don't know how to say it, but that's the brand, okay? And they sent me their Halo projector, which is a portable projector. Let me show you. Isn't it cute? Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's like relatively light and I'm really liking the size of it, but I already tested it out on my ceiling and you guys, the picture, really crisp. This is technically not an ad, but they did send it to me for free, so. 
Anyways, I'm gonna take it to Tom's tonight and we're gonna have a little date night. We're gonna make pasta and have a movie night with the new projector. So I will show you what it is like. I'm so excited. Oh my God, it just turned on. <gasps> It hears me. Okay, do you see that? Like, do you see the picture? And it auto focuses. So, like, no matter where you put it, it takes a second and it auto. -fo I can't. I absolutely cannot. Ah! Obsessed. Okay, I'm at Tom's now and we're making dinner. Hey. And look at the projector. Is that not the sickest thing you've ever seen? Okay, that's what it looks like on the table. It's super small and it's connected to my laptop. And when the lights are off, I swear to God, it's so bright. But we're gonna watch movies on it later. We'll show you. We're making spicy vodka rigatoni, except not spicy and not vodka. So really it's just it's just rigatoni. Um, but we also got a bunch of snacks and candy for our movie date later. Can't wait. Okay, the meal is almost done. We're just waiting for the pasta to finish, but I poured myself some Aperol because it's Friday, okay. Cheers. <laughs> These things are really good if you haven't tried them. They're the Nerds Sour Big there Chewy. They're quite sour. Then we have Sour Patch Kids, Coke Bottles, and Mike and Ikes. And then our chip snacks, we have barbecue and sour cream onion classics all around. How good does this look? I'm a chef. I'm a chef. <laughs> okay, wow, well, I can't get over this projector. Look how small it is, but it's so big of a screen. And when the lights are off, it's even crazier. It's not even showing up that well on camera, but I swear to God, it's it's real clear. Anyways, we're just gonna eat our dinner and then probably put on a movie. Okay, we're watching this Netflix movie called The Love Letter From Your Lover. The I Last Letter know. From Your Lover. The Last Letter From Your Lover. It's always like this, always. It's always, <laughs> it's always like this. But look, we've got our snacks ready. We've got our little twinkly lights. We're gonna try and see how long this portable projector lasts without charging it also. Update, it did not last that long, so we've plugged it in. How long has it been on? Yeah, I think it lasted for like an hour and a half with the fireplace going, but it doesn't last for hours, but not bad. I'm back home now. I'm just editing the vlog and realize I have no outro, so consider this my official outro. <laughs> I'm having a very lazy Sunday right now, vlog editing, sending in some TikTok videos that I had to make, and then also doing some of my freelance work that I talked about in the vlog. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I really do enjoy vlogging, and I think these videos are going to be so nice to look back on and just remember these like smaller moments in life. Anyways, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!